think I see the wind as a partner. I strongly believe that we will help the world to be a better world. <laughs> and all the work that we have done so far, that's like a milestone for us. And the wind means revenue, so it's what we need for the project to succeed. Project Ancora is comprised of four wind farms located in the mountain regions of central and northern Portugal. And they will produce annually around 500 gigawatt hour of energy, which is the equivalent to 170,000 inhabitants. On all the sites we have an average of 280 people working in different phases of construction. I was invited to join this project in 2014 at the very beginning of the adventure. It's a privilege to contribute to this challenging and huge project. Project Ancora comprises four wind farms, which are Picos Valduchão, Sarnacelli, Três Marcos and Moimenta. As we are in complex terrain here in the mountain regions of Portugal, we install in every site a mat mast and usually we collect wind data from the site, which uh, allows us to set the right spot for the turbines and also to quantify the exact amount of energy that the wind farm is able to produce. Behind us we can see the substation which will connect to Armamar substation through the 400 kV overhead line. The turbines we are uh, installing here are Sandvian MM92, which means it's a turbine with 92 meter diameter and the tower height is around 80 meters. The towers are made of steel. The manufacturing process is very challenging. The line production takes almost six weeks and we can achieve uh, 140 towers uh, per year. At this moment, we are working in two shifts. So you work 16 hours per day. And if you reach the conclusion of the project on time, on schedule, with quality and on budget, for me, it's the, it's the best moment. It's like a landmark for us when they started to erect this, so I think that was the thing that I was most proud of. We are at WTG9 and we are starting to erect it. You already have one part of the turbine erected. They are preparing the second part and until the end of tomorrow they have to put in a third part, the nacelle and the blades and hub set. The blade, I think it's the most interesting part of the wind turbine and it's the one that always catches everyone's eye. This company was installed in Portugal since Sanvian signed a contract with the government to put a production site for blades in Portugal. We are able to deliver a blade within 24 hours and that's why we need to work around the clock. We are the biggest employer in Vagos that's why I'm really proud of this company. The construction of the four wind farms of Ancora lasts from the beginning of 2015 until the summer 2016. This project means a lot to me, just because I got involved since its genesis. And my role in this project is to uh, obtain all the licenses needed for the construction phase and all the environmental and health and safety issues. I used to look at this kind of project from an external perspective and now I'm inside the project and it's really amazing to see the evolution in a couple of months and what the team is doing. Working with Ferrostal it was, it was a pleasure, in fact, because Ferrostal came as a solution to a challenge that we had. Hopefully we will continue to install more wind farms in Portugal because the country needs and all in all, we have a very, very good plant in Portugal with lots of know-how generated during the last six years. Mother Nature provides free and clean resources for man's need. Wind is one of them. We just have to use them in the most efficient way. We are conscious and proud of the benefits that this project brings for our country, both from an environmental but also from an economical point of view.